Dr. Gary Hack is a professor of dentistry here at the University of Maryland, America's oldest school of dentistry. He says dentists have long done what they could to respond to patients' desire to look better. Obviously, people are very interested in their appearance. Um, for example, Botox that you can put into the lips and the face is one of the highest um, utilized aesthetic practices in the country. So dentistry fits into that, the concept of looking younger and being more vigorous. So people are very interested in aesthetics and the whole concept of cosmetics and that relates to dentistry as well. Dr. Hack says dentists are just now getting powerful new digital technologies to help in cosmetic procedures. And here's an example of smile design. What you do is you take a regular picture with a regular camera of an individual. You can then create the, you take a scan in their mouth and you create the restorations and you can actually position these teeth within the patient's mouth and you can move it around and create a three-dimensional image. So you can design the smile how it relates to the lips, how it relates to the gums, how it relates to the face, all digitally. A dentist and their patient then discuss what kind of cosmetic changes to make. On this patient here, let's see if I can turn it, you can see here would be a veneer. You can see how the front of the crown of the tooth is just cut down and then we could actually create a tooth there and we could design it, fit it into their mouth, and then mill it. So it's an exciting technology. Traditionally, if a patient needs a crown, an artificial replacement for a damaged tooth, a dentist has to take a cast of the patient's teeth by putting a special putty in the patient's mouth. But digital technology is changing all that. Rather than creating a stone model, which you then have to mail to the lab, what you can do is you can take a machine like this called an acquisition unit and you can simply go into the patient's mouth and click a few pictures and within seconds up on the screen you will develop a digital model and then the computer will design a crown. You'll notice how this tooth has been cut down to receive a cap on it you see the computer thinking about the surrounding teeth and it's actually going to create an aesthetic restoration and I can then send that digital data I can then send that digital data of this crown to a milling machine and have it ready in 15 minutes and cement it that same day in the patient's mouth. Some things will not change Dental exams, drilling out and filling cavities, and periodic cleanings will continue to be as important as ever. But when it comes to replacing broken or missing teeth and other cosmetic interventions, Dr. Hack believes the new digital techniques represent the future of dentistry. I think that this concept of digital dentistry will have a tremendous impact on access to care. In poor countries, this type of technology, I think, is going to expand significantly the type of service that individuals in a country can achieve. And why is that? Why, why would it expand it? Because it's more efficient and it's less time consuming. Even within this country, a person who's working full time might have to come two, three times for a, to have a crown made. With this technology, you can do it in one visit. Consumer advocates say people should be wary of hard sell practices promoting cosmetic dentistry, but nonetheless, these new digital techniques are giving dentists powerful new tools to help their patients look and feel better. The use of computer technology is rapidly changing the practice of dentistry, particularly in cosmetic interventions. By making such procedures faster and cheaper, digital technology is allowing more people around the world to benefit from cosmetic dentistry. For Saudi Good Morning, this is Burton Bolag in Baltimore.